Ms. Trotter, your testimony discussed the need for women to be able to use firearms to defend themselves and their families. The law currently permits the lawful possession of semi-automatic rifles such as uh, AR-15. Can you tell us why you believe a semi-automatic rifle such as AR-15 has value as a weapon of self-defense, and does banning, weapon, uh, banning guns, which feature designs to improve accuracy, disproportionately burden women? I believe it does. Young women are speaking out as to why AR-15 weapons are their weapon of choice. The guns are accurate. They have good handling. They're light. They're easy for women to hold. And most importantly, their appearance. An assault weapon in the hands of a young woman defending her babies in her home becomes a defense weapon. And the peace of mind that a woman has as she's facing three, four, five violent attackers, intruders in her home with her children screaming in the background. The peace of mind that she has knowing that she has a scary looking gun gives her more courage when she's fighting hardened violent criminals. And if we ban these types of assault weapons, you are putting women at a great disadvantage, more so than men, because they do not have the same type of physical strength and uh, opportunity to defend themselves in a hand-to-hand -hand struggle. And they're, they're not criminals. They're moms. They're young women. And they're not used to violent confrontation. So I absolutely urge, I, I, I speak on behalf of millions of American women across the country who urge you to defend our Second Amendment right to choose to defend ourselves.